Only four months had passed since the coup. This was a coup created in Iran by the British and Americans through which they overthrew the first popular government in Iran and appointed Mohammad Reza Pahlavi as the next king of Iran, replacing the prime minister who had been elected by the people. The atmosphere of suffocation and intimidation was prevalent, especially in the universities. The new dictator's actions on signing a disgraceful consortium, restricting freedom of expression and the press, establishing military rule, resuming relations with Britain and announcing the imminent trip of the American Vice President Nixon to Iran had infuriated the university's students. The protest began on the 5th of December in the University of Tehran and several students were arrested. Nixon was supposed to be coming to Iran in a few days, so the dictator decided to put an end to the turmoil quickly. In an unprecedented move, Division 2 of the Shah's military army troops occupied the university. On the 6th of December, the armed forces went to the science and engineering department around 10 o'clock and entered classes. The protest spread throughout the entire university. The order to shoot was given. Dozens of students were injured and three were martyred. Ahmad Ganchi, Mehdi Shariat Razavi and Mustafa Bazork Nia. Two days later, Nixon arrived at the University of Tehran and received an honorary doctorate in law degree in a ceremony held by the Pahlavi regime. With the triumph of the Islamic Revolution in 1979, the escape of the Shah and the US withdrawal from Iran, December 6 was celebrated as University Student Day in Iran. جنبش دانشجویی خصلت و خاصیتش در کشور ما لا اقل این جوره. شاید در خیلی از کشورهای دیگه هم باشه. ضد استکباری است، ضد سلطه است، ضد دیکتاتوری است، طرفدار عدالت شروع این حرکت حالا یا مقطع شناخته شده این حرکت همین شونزه آذره